Developing tonight, a violent home invasion just a few blocks away from Temple's campus. Philadelphia police say one person was killed, two others wounded, including a 15-year-old girl. I'm Sheba Russell. They also tell us the victims are not students. But Kelly, regardless, it is absolutely terrifying here. Sheba, absolutely terrifying. I can tell you that girl is stable at the hospital. She was shot four times in the leg. The other surviving victim, a man in his early 20s, is in critical condition at the hospital tonight. This happened in the middle of the day around 1 p.m. Neighbors, including Temple students, are concerned. I'm right there. I'm like... 20 feet away. Like most Philadelphians on a Sunday afternoon, Joseph Marcico says he was watching the Eagles game. That was interrupted when he heard several gunshots and walked outside to a crime scene. I don't want to be in a neighborhood where people are getting killed, you know what I mean? Philadelphia police say just before 1 p.m., two men kicked in the front door of a home on Diamond Street near 18th Street and opened fire inside the house, shooting a 15-year-old girl four times and two men in their early 20s. One of them shot in the head, died from his injuries. It's an area where some Temple University students live just four blocks from the edge of campus, like Caleb Jackson, who says he got a TU alert, though the victims were not students. I texted my two roommates um, asking if they had heard about the incident, if they were involved at all. Um, luckily, they weren't. Hours earlier, students got a message from the university about an attempted robbery of a student at gunpoint while they were walking on West Burke Street near 16th Street shortly after midnight. The letter stated that it's similar to an armed robbery from earlier in the week involving two students, and police are looking into whether there is a connection. There's definitely been a lot of notifications going to my phone about, oh, you know, armed robbery here, shooting, shooting there, probably at least, like, four or five times a week. In a way, it's like, you know, what do you expect? But it, it also is, there should definitely be a measure of safety. Chayota Izel says he's frustrated about what's happening to the neighborhood. People don't have respect for each other no more. And that's why stuff like this happened. And it's scary. Now, police say the two men responsible were seen leaving the home in a white Chevy. That's the only description they had. Anybody with information is asked to call police. Sheba. All right. Thank you, Kelly. A car.